Fuel, fuel, fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Here we go, guys. I'm doing more live streams than I've ever done. Well, on this channel anyway. I don't typically do live streams. Ain't got time for live streams. Let me see if I'm working here. Good way to check if you're working. Check if you're working. I got audio, so audio's good. <coughs> so, as the title suggests, we are going to be doing some deadlifts and some shrugs. Today we are going to be doing elevated deadlifts. Uh, not just your regular standard deadlifts, but elevated. It's a training method that I use. And uh, I'm at a point now where I'm ready to do a little elevated. So let's go ahead and get ready. I'm just kind of jumping into this and ready to go. Hope everybody's having a good day. Monday. I guess everything's okay here. I guess it could be better. It could be worse. I don't know. While you're at it, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. And let's go do some uh, elevated deadlifts. Comment, please, take part. Mm -hmm. So, let's go and get some weight on here, guys. So for those of you that don't keep up very much with the channel, you might be new here, whatever. Uh, we have moved, this is our new house, and this is my new office that I built. Um, I'm still not totally like settled in and comfortable feeling. Still feel a little bit like I need to be doing stuff and I should be. Uh, my office isn't technically done. I still gotta put, put up shelves and decorate and all that good stuff. And other things still kind of need to be done a little bit here and there. And, you know, it's just kind of that new feeling. You're trying to settle in and kind of make it your home and your space. And it's just a little, uh, you know, I'm not there yet. So, uh, and I'm going to check periodically. So if you see me doing this, trying to move, and I'm checking to see if uh, my camera is working. Because sometimes my web camera likes to stop working. So... All right. So let's go ahead and get into some elevated deadlifts. <clears throat> we got 135 here. So we got six, six guys. So I actually did eat a little bit today. Uh, typically I don't eat a whole lot and I'm just not real hungry. But I did have my breakfast this morning. And then for lunch I did have some leftover rotisserie chicken. 
and then I took a little nap and then I got up and shortly after I did my afternoon bus route got home and started getting all this kind of stuff lined up and ready so uh, so I've at least had a little bit of nutrition in the old body today uh, I'm just never all that hungry so All right. Let's get another warm up set of one thirty five. Sorry, I got distracted. My my plate on the bar hit these plates here. It distracted me. So had to see what that was. All right. So let's go to uh, 225. Let's put another plate on. So we will be utilizing the liquid chalk. Um, normally I use powder, but it gets all over the office and it makes a mess. And until I can get my dedicated gym finished, which is going to be quite a while, uh, I don't really want to make a huge mess in here. So. It does take a minute for it to dry. It's not bad stuff, and I don't, this is the first time I've ever used it. And I know that there's different brands, and I'm sure different, uh, you know, different brands. But I guess it does okay. I think I like the powder probably a little better. All right. Got 225 going on right here. So let's go ahead. I don't know why I do that. They fall right back down. My sleeves fall right back down. So I don't know why I do that. Hey 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 Anyway. Do you hear that? I need to turn my phone down. You'd be hearing an echo. Anyway, let's do, do uh, 225, guys. I 
I guess. So, uh, one reason I don't do live streams is because technically I don't really get uh, people in here taking part. But uh, the last time I did a live stream, I actually had two, three, four, maybe different people in there, uh, which was a total surprise. So, you never know, maybe we'll get a couple people off in here. So, let's go ahead and uh, get up to 315. So, we'll put another plate on. So 315. somebody Whew. hey predator yeah you got a lot of you got a lot of road time on you right there uh, forgive me if I don't type anything I got chalk and powder on my hands so hopefully you can verbally you know hear me But, uh, yeah, you know, you lift a lot. Sometimes you just need a day or two to just kind of do something else or nothing at all. Uh, so that's why I do Monday through Friday because it gives me all weekend to just literally do nothing if that's what I want to do. So, all right, we're up to 405 now. So let's go ahead and get that going. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, Monday through Friday keeps you going, and it, it might wear you out a little bit, but uh, at the same time, you know, unless you're going all day long, I don't know what kind of work you do, but I'm a bus driver, so I don't exude, uh, exude, exude whatever, a lot of uh, energy throughout my day. So, you know, if I was still doing construction, you know, I might do something a little different, but then again, I might not. So, uh, I pretty much, when I was doing construction, I just kind of worked out whenever. Um, 
I wasn't as persistent and consistent as I am these days. We got 405. Let's go ahead and get this done. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty dirt. It seems like you put in uh, some decent miles when you cycle. Um, I don't know how hard you're going at it out there if you're just kind of strolling along or what have you. But, uh, you know, no matter what, if you're a uh, if you're doing anything for that long that's uh that's a lot of working out so that's a good bike ride hey runner boy i don't know how well my live stream's doing it says youtube's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming so hopefully it's doing okay you've had a cold this whole weekend good grief yeah a lot of people are getting sick around here for sure hey bad body how you doing uh, we are doing some deadlifts, and I, I don't need to cool down too much or I'll go to sleep. But, uh, yeah, I hope you get to feeling better, runner, uh, runner boy. A lot of people are sick this time of year for sure. It's cutting out a bit. Well, that sucks. Uh, there ain't really nothing I can do about it right now. Uh, I rebooted my router and my modem and all that before I started, and... You know, you should do that. So, I did that. So, hopefully it'll do okay, guys, and you'll stick around. If not, you know, it's all right. Yeah, when you're live streaming up here, it, it, uh, it, it tells you how you're doing. And it says I'm not doing so well on my connection. So, so I just did 405. Sometimes technology can suck. Yeah, I know. I remember, uh, Predator, whenever you said you are going to have that competition. That's going to be good. Yeah, Bad Body, I don't know if it's a computer thing. And, you know, sometimes I think uh, phones do a little better sometimes. Um, but it is what it is. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's watchable. Uh, just threw some thirty five uh, some thirty fives on here, so we got what four hundred and seventy five.
Got it. Got it. Well, the importance of that, guys, is with uh, all the time off and all that and coming back, you know, I got up to 455. Uh, before I had to take my time off, I did 480, and that was a PR. And that was from the ground, not from elevated. But uh, the way I like to train is I do these elevated deadlifts, and it helps me eventually to pull from the floor. So uh, 475, I feel good about. And uh, hopefully my live stream is hanging in there. Uh, if not, I will upload the video when I'm done. So, it seems to be giving me issues. So for that, I apologize, guys. 475, I think I'll stop there as far as, as, far as going up to the heavy is concerned. I'm going to stop at 475. And uh, now I'll go back down a little bit and do a couple of more sets. Um, should I try 475 again? Uh-oh, there's my troll. I blocked him on, uh, I think I might have blocked him, but uh, he got in here. He, he tells me the same thing all the time. Talks about my belly and my form and all that stuff. I have pretty good uh, impeccable form on most everything I do. And, uh, yeah, I got a belly. I'm a human being. I have a belly. So, when you get older, if you make it to 52 years old, which I'll be at the end of this month, I'm sure you're going to have a little belly, too. You'll be all right. Have a good night, by the way, Mr. Queer. Uh, I like your name. It's amazing. I think I'm going to go for... I'm going to try 475 one more rep, guys. Let's do 475 one more time. predator he pops in uh, he pops in on my uh, comments on the videos often I thought I blocked him on there I might not have blocked him here and I didn't block him for a long time I just recently did it or uh, blocked or I hit him or whatever you want to call it I don't know so uh, you know Hey, Predator, I'll make you a uh, monitor. A uh, whatever. Got bad body. Maybe it, maybe it let me. 
So, uh, and now my mouse has this all over it. So, uh, let's go down to 405. getting two sets of that 475. Uh, the, la the last two sets I did was 475. Now I'm going down to 405. Uh, Predator, I got 480 before we moved. I got it from the floor. Uh, so that was my PR. My one rep max was a 480. And since we moved in the house, I've done, I got myself back uh, to 455 from the floor. And I did that a couple times now. And now I'm, I'm doing my training that I do with the elevated deadlifts. To get back up to where I was uh, at the uh, 480 mark and once I do some elevated deadlifts probably for a couple of weeks then I'll pull from the floor again and I'll try you know maybe 465 or something you know it's just kind of it's a way to to get you uh, worked out from uh, that, that getting you past that one little sticking point from the floor so that's what I like about the elevated. Oh yeah, I figure in 2024, I'm gonna reach my goal of 500. If nothing goes wrong, if nothing happens, and uh, you know, as long as I can stay on track and healthy-ish and good to go and nothing crazy happens in my life, uh, should be pretty good. So, I'm going to do one more set of 405, and uh, again, if this live stream is screwing up, I'm also recording it, uh, so I can also upload it later, and uh, so we'll get her done. So anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and do uh, 405 again.
Good Lord, I don't know about all that, man. <laughs> that'd be uh, that'd be some crazy stuff to me. Uh, the 500 goal. You know, whenever I first set that goal uh, over two years ago now, uh, I was a little bit enthusiastic, maybe on that, just at 500. But uh, a lot of a lot of patience and and all that are are paying off and. I believe that I'm going to at least get to the 500. So let's go to 315. Three fifteen. I got four. I don't know why I've got myself doing shrugs. Today I don't usually do that. Yep, that's what we say, slow and steady. Slow and steady. If anyone else is still in here but I appreciate those of you that did pop in or they're still here uh, if the live stream is a little choppy I don't blame people for bugging out yeah the dad strength comes in handy uh, if the dad had the strength to begin with but if he's just still kind of, if, he, if he's always been on kind of a level playing field as you, then it should be pretty good. It should be a pretty even competition. But again, if he was like, say, like me and worked out a long time and got up into maybe some heavier weights and now is kind of down on the weights, uh, then, then that, would, that, would, that would have the dad effect, you know, because he's used to doing that and probably has some of that strength. Or you got some guys that are farm boys and construction boys, which I should be that. Uh, I did construction for almost 15 years, but uh, then those guys are super strong sometimes. They'll come out and just lift a tractor. 
lift a tractor, you know? Crazy. You never know. The people surprise you. You see, you never know. Who's going to be the strong person? <laughs> Yeah, okay. He is a little heavier. Well, we'll see. We'll see. The time's almost here. So, yeah. It won't be long. Uh, let's go ahead and get a, another set of 315. I think I did four again. <sighs> yeah, I think I remember you making a post about that, about your grandpa uh, being able to bench more. Well, you know, not saying nothing bad because you know that, that's that's just the way it is but you know your your friends are pretty skinny they're pretty small looking so I, you know whenever that one i think he benched maybe a hundred or something like that i don't remember you know i was surprised that he got that much because he was a he's a little guy But you never know, people like that, like I said, Mike could go out there and lift a tractor up over his head. It's just a different kind of lifting. So I don't know. But, yeah. You know, I hope to be that 60-year-old grandpa, if I live that long, that can uh, still outlift some people. Whew. Yeah, December 10th. Well, we got a little while, a little bit more training little bit more training before then but is he training i wonder if he's training oh let me do my last set last set of we're gonna go down to 225 
Oh, wow. Whew. Holy crap. Well, you might be skinny to them. They might be kind of big like me or something, but I wouldn't look at you and say you're skinny. Your friend, though, looks like he has, you know, arms, as, I don't know, big around as my pen. <laughs> and that's not saying nothing bad. I wish I was that small again. I'd trade up everything. I'd trade all my strength to be that skinny. Well, maybe not quite that skinny. Uh, cycling, you know, being being real active like that and doing a lot of cardio, it can hurt you as far as moving some weights, but 200 pounds, I'll be honest with you, and that's not taking a knock at anybody, but 200 pounds, anybody should be able to eventually get. Uh, 200, uh, 225 to me is like bottom line to me. If somebody puts in any amount of effort whatsoever, 225 should be obtainable uh, within pretty much ease. Uh, but that's just my humble opinion on that. And, uh, you know, I know everybody's different. But at the same time, you know, I don't know. 220, 2, 225 to me is just, uh, you know, to me it's that bottom line where everybody should be able to get to 225. Yeah, cycling is okay. Uh, I think 295 is obtainable to any male that puts effort in. And yeah, I mean, I won't argue that, but but I for sure know that 225 should be something that a man should be able to do at least one time. You know, I know you know that's probably not something that a lot of people would agree with, but. That's just my humble opinion and a female should be able to get You know, like maybe 125 or so uh, Typical females, you know should be able to eventually bench 125 maybe 150 or so M My opinion just you know someone who puts in the time and effort not just your random person, but you know So I've got some shrugs I'm gonna do and uh, I was going to go up heavy. Four ninety five is big boy weight. Once you hit the threes, you're in a different ball game. And then once you hit three fifties and up, it is uh, another ball game. And then that four, and that uh, God, they want you to go for four ninety five. <laughs> That's setting the bar pretty high, but you know what? Anything can happen. It just depends on what you do. Uh, you know, John over at McBean Scottish Fitness, he's done 480, 490, something like that at his biggest and uh, best bench. So, you know, anything can happen. So I'm going to do some shrugs. Uh, we're just going to start at 225. And I was going to go up really heavy on those, but I don't think I'm going to now. So, hey, 365 is a good bench. You know, anything over three to me is impressive. Uh, anything is impressive. It just, you know, but if you see like some seasoned weightlifting vet sit down and do 200, that's not really that impressive. So if you see someone like, you know, your grandpa sit down and do 200, well, that's impressive, but you know, and then 365, if you see normal people like us sit down and do 365, that's amazing. So anyway, I'm going to do some shrugs. Uh, and I don't usually drink anything like this, but I got one of these. Uh,
Yeah, that's good. I don't usually drink that kind of stuff. I usually just stick to water. But All right. So let's do some shrugs. 225. Hey, have a, a good weekend, uh, a good week, uh, Predator. I appreciate you being here. Ooh, Shiki, how you doing? I'm sorry if my live stream is a little uh, iffy. You never know what it's going to do, so. You missed all the good stuff. I did all my heavy lifting. Uh... I got two sets of one rep each of elevated uh, 475, so that's really good. Um, the last time I deadlifted from the floor, you know, I got 455 since we moved. And uh, so now I'm training to get myself back up there to 480 from the floor, which is what I got at our old house. So, uh, so now I'm kind of in training mode to, to get back up there. So I got the... 475 for two sets of one rep each and uh, that was my big that's my big lift today so now I'm just doing some light shrugs some 225 shrugs and I was gonna go up heavy with those but I'm like eh, I'm not gonna do that so whew, I'm getting tired of holding heavy weight <laughs> Yeah, I was surprised when I got the second set of the 475, I was kind of surprised, but not really. I try to stay positive in my head. And I try to just say, you know what, I did it once, I'm going to do it again. So. Yes, let the CNS relax. I'm going to pretend like I know what that is. Tell me what that is. CNS. I'm bad with abbreviations and stuff. I don't know what that is. So, oh, central nervous system. I bet. Central nervous system. Hey. Yes, I knew it. Sorry. I'm getting old, you know. I got a lot going on in my brain these days. It's I don't I don't know words. I don't know stuff anymore. I'm losing it. I'm getting old. Old, I tell you. Let's do some 225 shrugs again, set number two. Hey John. Whew. Hey John, I've had a couple people pop in, but I think someone's gone already. But uh, I think Shiki, I think Shiki might still be here. Whew. Well, John, you missed my my heavy lifts. I did I did some elevated deadlifts. I made it back up to uh, 475. I uh, did two sets of 475, one rep each. And uh, if you recall, before we moved, uh, I did lifted 480 from the floor, and that was my one rep max PR there. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, train myself and get back up to that. So I did get the 475 for a couple of sets there. 
which is really good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I assume you're at work by now. Uh, you got that second shift or something like that. And I'm not sure if you two are uh, uh, subscribed to one another, but check out each other's channel, uh, Shiki and uh, Mike Bean. Uh, Shiki does some really great stuff. He does some good stuff, and so does uh, John over at Mike Bean. So let's do another set of 225 shrugs. We're just keeping it light today. 225s. And John, uh, I know you uploaded a video today. Uh, I've seen the thumbnail, but I think I've seen it right as I was trying to get all this going. I think. I will, uh, I'll make sure to watch it tonight. Because uh, as soon as I get done with this, I got to go get my supper going because I forgot to, uh, uh, I forgot to get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Hey, let's get it started. Anyway, yeesh. Premiere is at 5 p.m. Central Time. 5 p.m. I might be able to do the premiere. Just depends on what I'm doing in the kitchen. I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. I'm getting it started in here, brothers. All right. Anyway. So let's do one more set of 225. And I am drinking a Gatorade today, which I don't typically have. It's pretty good though. And uh, I did have some pretty good food today. I had my breakfast and then I did actually eat lunch. I had some leftover rotisserie chicken. So I had a good hunk of, uh, a good half of uh, of rotisserie chicken so uh, I did get a little nutrition in me today and I have had I forgot that I did have one uh, little teeny tiny skinny scrawny like granola bar that's the skinny scrawniest granola bar I've ever seen all right let's do one more set of 225 Hey Shiki, I need your son here to be, to clap and cheer me on. I like hearing his clapping in your video. It's like he's cheering you on and telling you to go, Dad, go. Go, Dad, go. I like that. You got a good kid. Holy cow. I'm gonna call that done at four, four sets on those. Oh my gosh. Well guys, I appreciate you being here. Uh, that does mean a lot to me uh, because I have done 
tons of live streams and get nobody. Uh, so it's always nice when you get somebody pop in and uh, you know get a little connection between everybody and uh, a little fun time, a little chit chat. And uh, anyway, well guys, I'm gonna go and uh, figure something out with supper. I don't even know what the heck I'm gonna do. Maybe some tuna fish. I don't know. Ooh, asparagus. I got some asparagus. So I gotta do something with asparagus. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go cook it. Guys, I appreciate you being here. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. And to everyone that's in my live stream, if you go back and you see all the chit chat, subscribe to all those people. They're good people. And that's what we need on social media is good, positive people. All right? Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Eh, I don't know what all that means. See y'all later. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. I got to hit this button and that button and this button over here. And